Neharika and welcome to a new lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about sadness, expressing sadness. Now, a couple weeks ago, we also did a lesson on happiness. And if you haven't watched it, please do watch it. So many of our subscribers requested that why not a lesson on talking about sadness. So here, this is for y'all. Uh, let's have a look at some expressions. Now, of course, it is pretty unfortunate that there are more of negative emotions than the positive ones. And, you know, uh, we often have to deal with uh, sadness or being depressed. And it's important to talk it out. There are very basic words that we use um, to express sadness, such as, uh, I feel a little low or... I feel a little depressed or I feel miserable but I'm gonna help you with some expressions that would help you to express your sadness so let's have a look here the first one that we have for you is down in the mouth now down in the mouth is to look unhappy Okay, uh, I think it's related, this expression is related uh, with the way, you know, the corners of your mouth go down, like, you know, the puppy face. So that's when you feel really sad or you look sad rather. And that's when you can use this expression. For example, if you see someone who seems to be a little sad or unhappy, you can always say, hey you look down in the mouth what's the problem or she seems to be down in the mouth maybe she failed her examinations okay so this is the appearance okay that you appear to be sad or unhappy another expression for you is down in the dumps now down in the dumps means that you do feel miserable or you do feel depressed Okay, so here it's the appearance that you look unhappy, but here you do feel unhappy, okay? Um, down in the dumps can be used uh, in sentences like, uh, oh, well, Sharon is down in the dumps because her boyfriend went for a boy's trip, leaving her alone, okay? Or you can also use, well, John seems to be down in the dumps because he failed his examinations okay so this is the way you can use this expression another one is reduced to tears reduced to tears means when someone reduces you to tears uh, that someone makes you or something makes you feel so unhappy or so miserable that you start crying okay well that is what that is when you can use this expression for example, you can say, uh, well, uh, my boss reduced me to tears uh, with his constant criticism, okay? So here it means to make someone cry. Okay, so you feel so bad, you are so depressed that you start crying. That's when you can use this expression. Another one for you is lump in your throat. Now lump in your throat is used when, you know, you feel really choked up. You are so unhappy. You are so depressed uh, that you feel all choked up. You have this tight feeling in your throat, um, especially when you watch uh, uh, very emotional movies like uh, like the movie Titanic or like the movie P.S. I love you that you know makes you cry and you feel all choked up so that's when you can use this expression that is lump in your throat you can say uh, his speech was so emotional that I had a lump in my throat so which means that you were all choked up it was right here okay and we have another one for you Feeling blue or to have the blues. Now, to feel blue uh, means that, of course, to feel really sad because the color blue is associated with sadness or, you know, a very depressing feeling. 
Okay, so many people, in fact, you might have come across many people saying that, oh, I'm feeling blue today. This means that the person is feeling really unhappy or really sad, okay? Now, when you are using uh, for yourself to express sadness, uh, you, you need to use this expression saying, I am feeling blue or I feel blue, okay? But if you are using it for someone else, then you can use this expression that she has the blues today, okay? This means that she feels upset or she feels sad today, okay? So this expression can be used when you are using it for someone else, to express sadness for somebody else, okay? And the last one that I have for you is face like a wet weekend. Now, face like a wet weekend, of course, it means um, that you are unhappy or all your outward appearances make you look unhappy and depressed but you must be wondering where does this word wet weekend come from well i'm assuming that you know probably it's the weekend okay uh, where the slang came up from it's a british slang by the way And I'm assuming that, you know, maybe a weekend is usually when people have an off and they're at home and they would like to go out with family and friends. But maybe the weather is really bad. It's pretty depressing. It's gloomy. It's been raining constantly. So it's a wet weekend. So of course, this kind of a weather where you cannot step out of your house would make you feel really depressed and unhappy right so that's what i'm assuming that this uh, expression comes from there so it's basically you are comparing like when you use it for someone uh it's more like a compare like comparing for example uh mom your face looks like a wet weekend so you're comparing from all your outward appearances you look really upset and sad okay so that's when uh, people use this in fact in many movies you might have heard people saying that oh your face uh, looks like a wet weekend so this means that you are upset okay so that is when you can use this expression so these are some expressions that would help you to talk about sadness I would suggest you keep smiling okay don't be sad ever but if in case you are sad I hope these expressions are helpful to you. I will see you soon in your next lesson. Till then, you take care and have a great day.